Hey, what's up, amigos? How you doing? Hope you're all having a great midweek. Uh, and today we're going to be doing uh, one of my favorite dishes, actually, uh, okonomiyaki. So uh, really looking forward to it. And if you're wondering, what the hell's that, chef? Uh, it's basically uh, a Japanese dish. Uh, so um, cabbage pancake. Um, so we've got lots of lovely flavors going on in there. Um, so we're actually going to be using, um, obviously, the red cabbage. I've also got some green cabbage, so I'm going to use both for today. Um, I think I've got some pickled ginger there as well. Uh, we're also going to do a Japanese mayonnaise. Now, I'm going to do a little bit more of a healthier one because I've got tofu to use up. So I'm going to do a tofu Japanese mayo. Uh, we're also going to do um, okonomiyaki sauce, so Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, and oyster sauce mixed together uh, on the top. And then just finished it off with some nice, beautiful uh, bonito flakes, which is uh, dried tuna flakes and uh, some little cheeky scallions as well. So looking forward to that. Uh, slicing the cabbage, actually, would probably be the first thing. So the red and, and the white. Right, so let me finish uh, slicing my cabbage. So I don't want to use too, too much. Don't want to go too crazy on the cabbage. I feel like I'm not going to use all of this. Maybe like one or two more layers and that'll be it. And then we're going to add that to the to the white cabbage as well. So as long as I keep two for garnish. So how many I got left? So if I use two now, three for garnish. Actually, I use three now, two for garnish. That'll be good. So there we go. Perfect. So it's top and tail these. I say top and tail. Well, taking the tops off as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is just open these up. Uh, we're just going to give them a wash under the under the tap, making sure there's no soil or any bacteria or anything like that in there. So just opening the leaves up so they can wash easier. All right, let's give this a slice up. <laughs> your fingers. So we're going to chuck that straight into the cabbage. Um, I wonder if I've got any pickled ginger. I hope I have. Because I didn't uh, really look for it on uh, Saturday. So I'll see if I've got some. If, you, if I haven't, that's fine. But if you want to add some, like, you know, pickled ginger to it, fabulous. If you don't, no worries. Let's pop that in there. Okay, so, cabbage, spring onions, uh, let's go look for some pickled ginger, um, and then we're going to set that aside. Sushi ginger, yeah, ginger, sorry, very nice. So, I'm just going to use a little bit of that, and chuck that into the cabbage as well. Don't go too crazy on it. There we go, that'll do. So, ginger, cabbage. Spring onions. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to make the okonomiyaki sauce. Let me put some of this stuff away. I'm going to give this a bit of a wash as well. Right, how much uh, Worcestershire sauce did I need? Totally forgot. So uh, about four. Yeah, four tablespoons of Worcestershire. Cling. One. Two. Three. Four. That'll do. Uh, so four tablespoons. Um, I guess the other one as well, I like making my own barbecue sauce, and I usually use Heinz uh, HP sauce or brown sauce in there, um, sugar. Uh, I also use Coca-Cola as well for making a, a barbecue sauce as well. Three. Did I that number four? I'm going to put number five in there. There we go. So oyster sauce, I wanted three, right? Three tablespoons of oyster. Right. Let's get that and mix up. Yeah, does need a little touch of sweetness in there. So, a little bit of honey. I don't go too crazy with it. <clears throat> oh, goodness, now I'm going to properly go to the store and get some mushrooms and cream and stuff and make. Oh, yeah, it's always good. Uh, making soups. I feel like I want to do more soups, but making soups for stream, I find them like. Number one, it doesn't take long to make, in my opinion. And then nothing like exciting or appealing. I mean,. I can show you how to make soups, but I just feel like stream-worthy soups aren't so great um, to do for streaming. Oh, I was going to make the tofu Japanese mayo, so I can do that next. So I've got a little bit of tofu I wanted to use up. You can make the normal Japanese mayo if you really wanted to. Um, but I'm just going to go for the tofu one because I want to use that tofu up. So be a nice little, nice little touch on it. Sorry, excuse me. Right, let's pop this in here. Okay, so I'm going for two teaspoons of honey. One. 
two. Right, so two tablespoons of rice vinegar. I might need a little touch more of that there. You're all good. I'll let you off. The rest of the chat can take the blame. <laughs> right, don't go too crazy on the garlic. So, just literally want that much, which is about a quarter of a teaspoon. Um, do I need anything else in here now? Mustard, vinegar, uh, ginger, garlic. Salt and pepper we're going to add in a second. We've got the mustard in there. So let's give this a blend down. I will need a touch of water in this because it's going to be very thick. That's good to go. Um, I was going to that, pop that into a bottle because I'm going to do some little squeezy lines over the top. Um, let's... Oh, yeah. I was going to whisk up the, um, the batter mix quickly. Uh, 130. Right, 130 grams of cake flowers in there. Um, I also want two tablespoons of bacon powder. We also want 130 ml of milk. Um, a little cheeky pinch of salt as well in there. So, don't want to go too crazy on the salt. So, let's crack this open. Cheeky chef. He's a, he's a good chap, he is. Right. <laughs> so, put this into here. Just careful, I don't want to over whisk this, though, that's the thing. <laughs> there we go, there's that beautiful batter mix. Now we're going to let that rest for about 20 minutes or so while I do the washing up. So, basically. It's going to be looking almost like a, uh, the best thing I could describe to you is like almost looking like a coleslaw, pretty much. That's the kind of consistency you're looking for. So yeah, it's already kind of looking like, pretty much like a coleslaw mix. So let's get that all mixed up nicely. So that's heating up. We also need to get the prosciutto out. Now usually belly, thinly sliced belly pork, but I'm using my alternative, which is prosciutto. And it always, I, I've always used it. Because I could never find it. So, uh, prosciutto is a nice alternative. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is heating up nicely. So, we're going to get a bit of oil. Uh, I'm going to use canola. About a tablespoon in there. That'll do. Okay, now it's hot. Can you see that oil starting to separate the, in the middle? So, that's an indication for me it's going to be a nice little, little heat. There we go. Perfect. So, will that be big enough? I feel like it will be. Okay, so. that beautiful crust on there fantastic right we're gonna crisp up that uh pork and then we should be good oh Woo. got it chat i did it Whew. beautiful looks amazing chef thank you i appreciate it my uh, japanese mayo tofu sauce i'm using today tofu japanese mayo okonomiyaki sauce Worcestershire, ketchup, oyster, and a little touch of honey. Or brown sugar, if you want to use brown sugar. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to glaze up that bad boy. I'm sure you can make this, though, at home. It's not too difficult to make. So, 
scallions. Don't really want to overdo it on the on the scallions there. I like a little bit of extra Benito for me. So it dances in the wind. There's that cheeky little uh, Okonomiyaki we made. So we made ours with um, red cabbage and white cabbage, and I put some pickled ginger in there. Um, obviously, the batter mix we made, I did 130 grams of cake flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, uh, 130 ml of milk, pinch of salt, and come on, brain stretch, four eggs whisked up, and then uh, whisk that in. Careful you don't over whisk it. You don't want to stretch that gluten content, so you want to keep it nice. So just once it's done, don't whisk it any further. Um, and then we folded the cabbage through. Instead of doing belly pork, obviously when we cooked it off in the, in the pan, uh, flipped it over. Oh, sorry, no, before we flipped it over, we put the uh, prosciutto on instead of thinly sliced belly, belly pork, so that's an alternative. Uh, and then we did the okonomiyaki sauce, which is ketchup. Um, I used a little bit of honey and Worcestershire and oyster sauce. Um, and then instead of, we did a Japanese mayo, but instead of doing a normal Japanese mayo, we actually did a tofu Japanese mayo. So a little bit different. Um, if you want it a little bit more rich, or if you want to do the proper proper stuff, that's fine. Um, and then we just finished it off with some scallions or spring onions and uh, those beautiful smoky bonito flakes. So, uh, super, super happy. Goodness me. Look at that right there. A little cheeky cross section. Goodness me. Have a great rest of your thir uh, Wednesday. <laughs> Not Thursday today. Goodness me. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. I'll see you soon. Tomorrow. Hopefully. 10 a.m. Mountain time. Always. Take care. Bye for now, amigos.